Nigerian Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, I'm told, has committed the federal government to working with the private sector to adopt localization as the strategy for choice. And it is here that I'd like to start our conversation. Um, Mr. Vice President, if I may ask, what does this mean specifically? What exactly does this plan contain that is focusing on localization as we understand it? Well, I think, um, the, well, I, I, you probably heard the plan focuses on uh, there are three pillars, uh, investing in our people, uh, creating a globally competitive economy. Should I give you my mic? Perhaps. Okay. Thank you. Uh, investing in our people, creating a globally uh, competitive uh, economy, and restoring growth. Uh, part of restoring growth, of course, is uh, the attempt to ensure that we're able to produce most of what, well, maybe not most of what we consume, but a lot of what we consume, focusing on our strengths. The point, of course, is that productivity is what will drive growth for us. And um, our productivity you know, has uh, largely in, in, in the country, I and mean, when you look at growth, you'll find that the growth figures usually just reflect what we're earning from resources. So it's always been resource-based. But now we're looking more at productivity, we're looking more at manufacturing, we're looking more at agriculture and the agro uh, value chain. So, so for us, it's really more a focus on those things that will drive productivity, aside from just the resource-based uh, type of growth that we've seen in the past. Now, I, I took a quick look at the plan, and generally, when you're talking about productivity, you're talking about things like skill sets, so um, the ability of uh, people to actually do the job, um, so capacity building, you're looking at the cost of capital, and I think it has been mentioned, and access to capital as well, and we are also looking at infrastructure. Um, and. Yet, you know, we, we talk about these things almost as if they are quick fixes. I, I kind of haven't seen any concerted effort, for example, to talk about overhauling education, which is the basis for building skills and getting people to, to work. Well, I think that there's, there's a lot that's going on. There's a lot that's going on. And, and uh, again, just as you've spoken, it's difficult uh, to... Uh, it's difficult to cover the whole range of what is going on. But I want to say that if you look at what's going on in infrastructure, for example, it's clear that we need, we need adequate infrastructure to be able to drive the growth that we're talking about. And so we're investing heavily in railways. You know, we're investing, for example, I'm sure you're aware that the lagos Kano uh, rail project is on, uh, the concessioning of the narrow gauge, Lagos Kano uh, narrow gauge is, uh, is one that we're working with, with uh, General Electric, and that's a, huge, that's a huge project, and we expect that it will be driven by cargo transportation. We're also doing the Lagos Calabar as well. So there's quite a bit of uh, focus on infrastructure. We're also, uh, as you've heard, concessioning our ports, we're building the road networks, we're rebuilding practically all of the, the road networks. We're investing, as you've heard, on infrastructure alone, uh, our capital spend was close to a trillion naira. So there's quite a bit of work going on on infrastructure. Now, with respect to uh, developing uh, education and skills, with respect to developing skills, there are several initiatives. Overhauling the entire educational system is a long-term one. And of course, we have a plan to do that. If, if you look at even the recovery and growth plan, that is clearly there. But that's a much more uh, long-term thing. In the short term, we're looking at vocational education, and we're ramping up vocational education in various institutions. The Ministry of Education has been mandated to look at how relevant vocational education, especially with private sector involvement, there is, uh, there is some work that we're doing, especially in the power sector, with, um, uh, with Siemens, for example. They have a, a power academy. There's some work going on there looking at how to develop uh, middle cadre uh, competence in the power sector. 
We're also looking at how to develop middle cadre building skills. You know, Dangote is working with us on, the, on an academy in, the, in that respect as well. There, there's a need for some quick fixes. There's a need to quickly fill the gaps, especially in industry that is growing quickly. But there's also a long-term uh, there, there's also a long-term plan that really has to just go through its normal course, I and mean, you really can't speed that up in any uh, significant way. It just has to run its course. 